talked about being friends. And we're friends and, and, and we know how to talk to one another. But can I share something with some of you out here? Because see, just because this is not directed at you, but I want, want, want you to use it and I'm going to use it and you're going to use it. Just because you're my friend don't always mean you got a voice concerning me. All right, now you better say it. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. You got it. We're good friends now, but there's some stuff that I'm dealing with. I need you to shut your mouth. You don't always have a voice. I know, I know, I know, I don't get no amens. I know, I know. I didn't come to get no amens. I came to preach the truth. You see, we gotta learn that. You gotta know. I don't, I don't, ooh. You don't need everybody saying something about everything. You, even though you voiced it out loud, you just voiced it. But sometimes you don't want no. That's right. Right. That's right. Don't need no feedback. That's right. That's right. That's right. I know you're right. Just listen. That's right. That's right. Oh, my God. Yes. 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 Telling you how to make it easy yes. for the pastor. And some of you, you're going to make it easy in your life. Because you have to realize when you're dealing with busy bodies, always got something to say about everything. Don't never just listen. Just got to say something. That's right. That's right. You preach might be my friend. <laughs> but you don't have to have a voice. That's right. Hallelujah. Jesus. What is responsibility in my life? You have to understand what is your responsibilities. I don't have time for club. How many of you guys still be everywhere? Look at you, you don't want to raise your hand. <laughs> oh, Lord. Walk in your room, you got clothes over here, clothes over there. I, I just ain't had time. I, I've been church and I ain't, I ain't had time. Except, but every now and then, you got to go and clean up the clutter. Some of you got too much clutter going on in your life. And I'm not talking about your closet. That's right. All right, Jim. Find out. What's the responsible thing that you need to be doing? Take care of it. Get rid of the clutter. Oh, my God. Can I say something? See, some of you, you wouldn't know witchcraft working on you because your house junky and nasty. Jesus. Amen. It seemed a little harsh what I'm saying, but you got to understand something. If you got too much clutter and too much junk laying around, sometimes what you're looking for right in your eyes, but because there's clutter, you can't even see it. So now, do I need all of this stuff? What is necessity? What's the necessity for me? Oh my God, some of you, you better go do a friend check. Amen. Uh -huh. Amen. What's a necessity for me? Amen. See, even in ministry, you got to know who is a necessity. You don't put them out just because they're not a, success, a necessity, but you got to understand that some people, God got to build them up to that place. That's right. That's right. That's right. But I'm not going to let you clutter the church right. with mess. I'm not going to let you clutter my calling. I'm not going to let you clutter my ministry. Come on here. So I find what's necessary. Yes. And then I begin to pull yes. and pour. Yes. Or may I should say pour and pull. Yes. Come on here. Look at somebody say I got too much club. Got too much club. I got too much going on. Much Come on. I need to think about the necessary things. Come on. What God made you responsible for? What If he's giving you authority, what is your accountability for the authority that God has given us? We're talking about going from purpose to destiny. See, we got to understand something. If he already predestined who we are, why aren't we walking in who he called us to be? What's holding me up? What's blocking me? Is it the people connected to me or is it just me? Sometimes people don't understand that sometimes God takes you in a place where you just have to move away from people. And you have to move away from certain attitudes. 
And you have to move away from negativity. Come on, y'all. And sometimes you just have to move away from mess. Yeah. I'm going to be a part of no mess. That's right. Why? Because God has given me authority. Yeah. And with the authority comes accountability. Yeah. Come on, y'all better hear me up in here. I'm talking to your church. I'm talking about in your home. I'm talking about on the job. Come on here. You can't just be a supervisor on the job. Guess what? When you when your folk not doing right and not producing, they're not going to the people, they're going to the supervisor. That's right. That's right. That's right. And then the supervisor has to do what? Go to the Oh, there's order. God got order. I don't care where it is. Right. He got order. Amen. We got to start understanding that. C come on. We can't be acting crazy, acting out of order. Come on. Just flying off the handle, saying what we want to say, do what we want to say, and then come right back and sit in here like we just. Mm -hmm. <laughs> come on, y'all. We do God a disservice. We keep talking about, I'm going, I'm going from purpose to destiny. How you going to get there? Respect, accountability. Yeah. Yeah. Know who you are. Yes. Oh my God. Yeah. Know what your responsibilities are. Yes. 